I never thought I could tell this story. Hurry up, boys, come eat your breakfast. I'm allergic to that. Oh, stop, guys. Come on, eat your breakfast. You're gonna be late for school. Stop it, Ben. Stop it, Ben. Boys, stop fighting. Mom, look what Ben did. You're lucky I didn't have more in it. Ben, settle down. He started it. Don't worry, John. It'll be dry by the time you get to school. Now you boys finish up. Beth was a wonderful mother. She tried to provide for her boys, even if it meant reusing old items around the house just to get by, from hand-me-down clothes to sack lunches. You could say she was somewhat of an environmentalist Okay, boys, you need to get going. Bye, Mom. Ben, don't forget your helmet. Thanks, Mom. Life is kind of funny sometimes. You don't realize what you do, what you say, or how you act can affect someone's life. It's surprising how one decision can cause a devastating consequence. Ben always had it all. He was the younger of two sons. He was the center of attention at home, at school. John, on the other hand, was the brother that was never noticed. At a young age, he became bitter and jealous of Ben's likable personality. John will never forgive himself for this but he found a way to turn Ben's friends against him. Don't know how he did it. Don't even know what he said. It was a hot, sunny day. And they were all playing football. As usual, Ben kept scoring touchdowns. John wanted to make him know what it felt to lose. So words of hate quickly circled amongst the boys, turning everyone against Ben. Friends began to push, shove, and pick on Ben for the first time. John did nothing to stop it. After looking into my mother's eyes and realizing what I had done, it was all too much. Seeing him lay there, lifeless, the tears from my mom's eyes. I betrayed my brother. I never thought I could tell this story. It would bring too much pain.